I am Kim Mosgaard Eborg from uh, University of Aarhus at the Institute of Public Health and I'm associate professor and teaching in uh, health economics and population health and demography. I'm mainly working on uh, causes of death uh, data from uh, Greenland while I'm here. I'm focusing on uh, the data quality and I find it very important to, uh, to look at Greenland uh, and study Greenland because uh, Greenland has experienced a rapid uh, epidemiological and demographic transition. They have uh, almost doubled their life expectancies since uh, the 1950s, but it's still only 72 years for a newborn in Greenland. And it's about the same level as in North Africa and uh, the Middle East. And despite of being uh, considered as a high income country, and uh, it's very close relationships to, to Denmark. Historically, uh, it still has uh, eight years lower life expectancies than Denmark. So I'm interested in uh, what are the causes and what are the effects of this um, excess burden in Greenland. And in terms of uh, being able to make recommendations to uh, how to spend the very scarce resources of the healthcare sector in Greenland most effectively, uh, I would like to study this more and to see what is the economic burden of disease in Greenland. And in order to do all this, uh, we need uh, good, uh, high quality data and uh, a basic uh, input uh, to that analysis is the uh, cause of death data. So it's important to know how do people survive in the Arctic? Uh, there are many, many risk factors uh, uh, to live in the Arctic. And what are they dying from? To do that, uh, I'm using um, the cause of death uh, registers uh, from Greenland, which we have uh, back to the 1970s. And I'm analyzing it uh, over 20 years, uh, up to 2015. And uh, it's based on uh, the registers that uh, the chief medical officer in, uh, in Greenland has uh, collected over those years. And uh, to do this analysis, I'm using uh, the new software developed here uh, called Anaconda to analyze the quality of days, death data. And it, it's very impressive what it's doing because it's, uh, it's pointing out where are the likely misclassifications, uh, typical errors, where are the misdiagnosis. And it's what we call the garbage coding. And it comes up with the suggestion how to prioritize areas to increase the data quality on which uh, courses. And uh, it also gives an overall uh, performance uh, assessment of, of the registers that can be uh, compared to, to other countries. By using uh, the Anaconda software, I have learned uh, or got confirmed that there are problems in analyzing uh, small population numbers. So Greenland is a big island, and, but it has a very small population, only 56,000 people, and is the least populated country in the world. And uh, when using Anaconda, I, I found that uh, there are some issues. Uh, there will be many holes uh, in the uh, diagnosis uh, because um, there's only about four to 500 deaths a year. So the, some of the graphs will look pretty funny and uh, even small variations in, in data will sometimes look like a breakout of an epidemic. But it, uh, it's something that uh, that can be solved and uh, also um, we have uh, no comparison for Greenland because uh, Greenland uh, has always been considered uh, as a part of uh, Denmark. Only from uh, 2015 uh, we got uh, Greenland included in the Global Burden of Disease study and uh, it has been a hard work to get it there. Uh, also before when you see WHO publications you will see uh, Greenland as white and it's not because of all the ice in Greenland, it, it just says no data, which is not true. We have a lot of, uh, of, of good data. We uh, try to solve that uh, more formal or technical problem together with our colleagues at the Swiss Tropical Institute in Basel. Well, some of the findings uh, from the uh, uh, burden of disease study in Greenland is that uh, we see um, causes of, of death that are um, not equally dominant in other countries and it's especially uh, uh, lung cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease from uh, 
extremely high smoking rates, um, up to 60 to 80 percent of the adult population are smokers, daily smokers. And we see extremely high suicide rates, um, the highest rates in the world actually, and especially among uh, young men, um, the rates are very high. And uh, there are many problems that I see uh, are similar here in Australia with your indigenous uh, Abor Aboriginal uh, population and Torres Strait Islanders. And, um, there are many uh, uh, young men especially that cannot really see a future for themselves and, and a space for them where to fit in and uh, they are quite desperate and um, I also see that, uh, that the school system is not uh, really, um, uh, they are not really adapting to the school systems and the norms that are required there and uh, we see extremely high dropout rates from uh, schools and high schools in Greenland um, also like you see here in Australia and um, we also have big problems with uh, domestic violence and uh, abuse and uh, all in all there's uh, the scope for for a lot of uh, new places or so not new places but uh, new um, allocation of resources to, to do something about these things uh, in order to prevent uh, um, all these uh, fatal incidents and um, for the uh, uh, registration of uh, the causes of death we have uh, we see uh, not only some miss or many misclassified cases but we also see uh, missing causes and it's because of missing uh, people uh, about 10 percent uh, or that is about 50 persons a year are missing completely and it's uh, most likely because of boat accidents when they go fishing and they never come back and we, we don't know what happened. So they're completely missing. But there's also some new initiatives going on in Greenland. Uh, the chief medical office is uh, now collaborating with the police, uh, especially on these uh, on the suicide cases to, uh, to get them uh, uh, consistent with uh, what the medical officer is, uh, is determining as a cause of death. When I return to my country, uh, I hope that this work I've been doing here with the University of Melbourne, that uh, it can point out the holes where are, where are the uh, areas for priority in the uh, cause of death and registrations. I especially want to make attention to, uh, to all the suicides uh, that I think is a horrible sign and a symptom of something is really wrong uh, in the country. and. Uh, these uh, poor young people should not be just looked at as, uh, as a, an economic market failure.